I wish it had been that easy. This project, just like this movie, has been a long time coming. I've been working on it since March, and even though I had so much time, I still didn't quite finish it until about a week ago. You see, this was a pretty complicated build. I don't usually go this hard, but I just felt like I had to go big on this film. I mean, it just... Mochi, what the heck? He's like moving my stuff. Look at him. <laughs> I am so proud of being Chinese, of this Asian cast, female directed. It's just very exciting. Now, because much of what you're about to see was filmed in March, I was a different person back then. I don't even know that girl. So I will be doing your commentary. All right, so let's get down to business and show you how I did the dress. <laughs> that was cheesy, I'm sorry. Every project starts with a procrastination dance. Look at her, she's so carefree. She doesn't even know a pandemic is headed her way. All right, now I'm not really one to do a mock-up, but this fabric was so fancy, I didn't want to make any mistakes. So here I am cutting it out, cutting my muslin. I, you know, I really want to measure stuff, not make any mistakes. Usually I go all in, <laughs> F it. But no, this time, oh, I'm telling you guys, it was important to me. I really want to make it look good. So I'm just gonna jump right in here and say that you're gonna see a sleeve appear in a lot of the shots because yes, this was gonna have a sleeve. I'm not digging it. It's tugging at my dress, so I just I just ripped it off. Like ugh. So the fabric I'm using is peau de de soie soie peau de soie. Peau de soie. Je m'appelle mes poupou. That's the fabric I'm using. <laughs> Can she have a lawyer? Oh, what? Well. Okay, no, I don't need to know more. Thank you. So now that we made the mock-up, everything from here on out should be easy, breezy, lemon, a squeezy. Girl, you already measured. You already did the work. Now you just gotta put it all together. While I so I love to watch vlogs, I like that I don't exactly have to watch the video to know what's happening, you know, just by hearing them talk about their interests and what they're into at the time is just company enough. So now it's time for the belt, which I used a lot of interfacing because I really wanted it to be very stiff, hold its own. Really this little belt is what's holding up the entire skirt, which is quite heavy. Now because this is a transformation rip away kind of costume, um, we do have to insert snaps into this. Here I'm just marking where I'm going to put those snaps uh, just so it lines up properly and it's not too wonky. This is also my first time doing a snap type of transformation dress and I think it's so fun. I don't know, it was hard to figure out like the mathematics of it. In the end, I just think the effect is so cool. I did find a stencil that actually did fit the size of the belt. Sometimes paint can run on this type of fabric, but puff paint just stays there. Oh, 
it's a, it's a miracle little product. That's why puff paint has been able to withstand the test of time. Um, anyway, I'm not gonna get into why I'm passionate about puff paint. Of course, I had to add a dragon. I know how much we miss Mushu, so it's kind of like a little like, hey. But it's also because the dragon has ties to the emperor. It's a symbol of power, strength, good luck. So I had to add a bit of a dragon onto her outfit. I should put the cricket in the back now that I think about it. Moving on to the chest armor, because we all know it hurts getting punched in the boob. The chest armor is mostly built out of gray craft foam, which I've cut into little pieces and then sprayed it with some metallic silver paint just to give it a more metal kind of finish. And now comes the best part, which is actually stitching the pieces together. I didn't have to do this, but I just, I just thought it was so cool. Figuring out the math on how to attach everything correctly was probably the hardest part. Now, if we're thinking about practicality, maybe I shouldn't stitch the armor to the corset because I will be using the corset again for other things. How many times am I gonna dress up as Mulan? Not very often. I'm just gonna stitch it for now. You can always cut the threads later. No big deal. But hey, you can also use snaps. Take my eyes off you. I hope you all enjoyed that video and thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in my next one because Halloween is coming up and I'm excited. Okay, bye.